Hey guys, I'm Brandi Chang for Young Hollywood. We're here backstage at Alice and Olivia checking out the festival inspired fashion show. That was a tongue twister. Are you guys excited? Very excited. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> Let's check it out, guys. Thanks okay. for joining us. My pleasure. You're wearing Alice and Olivia today, yes. right? Yeah, of course. How did you decide on this look? Because it's amazing. I love it. Well, it's almost spring, so I wanted to do something that added a little bit more color. And plus, it's a great dress that has pockets. So if it has pockets, yeah. I'm sold. But that's what I love about Alice and Olivia. It's so hard to decide because they're so it's such a versatile collection. Mm -hmm. There's so many different styles and silhouettes, but they're all amazing. This collection is inspired by 70s fashion, that hippie kind yeah. of boho look. Is that something that you kind of like to incorporate into your own personal style? Yeah, well, I love the 70s as a decade, and I've always loved that kind of music. I love that Alice and Olivia always play around with things like that, and like, it, it makes the clothes really fun. It makes it fun to wear. Arden, we're kind of standing on the runway right now, by the way. I know, it's amazing. It's a beautiful set. I love it. Are you so excited for tonight's show? I am so much. I can't wait to see the new collection. What inspired this collection? Well, my husband's actually producing a film, a documentary on the Grateful Dead. It's been going on for so long that I just kind of like got in the vibe of it. And I'm like, I've got to do something. Like, as you're working on this film, I'm like, I have to do like a little Grateful Dead capsule. Yeah. Are you a huge Dead fan as well? Well, I worked in a record store years ago and we sold a lot of Grateful Dead records. And so I kind of resent the Grateful Dead for the number of times I'd like carry boxes of Grateful Dead records up from the basement. This show is like a victory for Stacy's husband, Eric, because he's a huge deadhead. And when they first started dating, she just wanted nothing to do with it. So really, like, he's the main influence here, I think. Who are some of your fashion superheroes? Whose style are you loving right now? I'm currently obsessed with Gigi. I think her style, like her off-duty street style is unbelievable. And she's like made me want to go buy like a camel coat and rip skinny jeans so badly because she rocks the look. I love your look! Thank you! you. Alice and Olivia. Amazing. How did you decide on this look tonight? Um, I wanted to do something a little more Coachella vibe for the festival uh, fashion show and this was very comfortable and felt very me. This or some pants and I felt like I wanted to dress up a bit. I've been shooting a lot, covered in a lot of blood for my show and doing a lot of stunts so I wanted to feel girly. Stacey's really ahead of the curve right now with this idea of having a fashion show and having customers be able to buy clothes immediately. What you're seeing, you can actually like have right then and there, because that's the way what people want now. Because we're, we're all about giving people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing that you want in your closet right now? Ooh, um, <laughs> well I was in the Alice and Olivia store the other day and I saw this pair of pumps, but they were denim. And I'm kind of obsessing over them. Denim so pumps. I'm probably going to have to invest in those eventually. Like what yeah. do you wear denim pumps with? Would you wear it with like a dress or would you do like denim on denim? I would probably do all black with a denim shoe I and like let that it. be the pop of color. How would you describe your personal style outside of this look? I always say that my personal style is sort of classic with an edge. So I love the classic silhouettes or colors or patterns. I love wearing black, but I always like to mix it up with some kind of unexpected element, which Alice and Olivia is perfect for. I've been loving what's been happening in the last season or two, actually, and I haven't felt that way for a while. So that comes from all, all different places. I feel like LA, London, and New York style is different as well. So it just depends where you are, what you're inspired by. I feel like I'm all over the place. There are days that I want to be a little bit more tomboy, edgy, and then there's days that I want to be cute and classic, and Alice and Olivia is perfect for that. What are you feeling today? Describe yeah, your look. like in between. I feel like I'm a little edgy, but still girly. I've got heels on, the Alice and Olivia skirt, kind of a thick moto jacket. Gives it a little bit of a boyish feel. High-waist skinny jeans. They were literally like $20, light blue, stretchy, high-waist skinny jeans, and they're my hero piece. They go with everything, and I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. Audrey Hepburn has always been kind of my style icon, because her style was so diverse, but also so classy and so classic all the time, and I, uh, I try to follow in her footsteps. Well, if Audrey Hepburn came back to this Alice and Olivia show right now, you would be her reincarnation. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so it. much. If you could steal anybody's fashion, who would it be? Yeah, I don't know whose okay. closet I would raid. That's a great question. Probably like Tilda Swinton or like somebody so like that. She's like the minimalist queen. I'm huh? sure she's got amazing <laughs> stuff in there. Amazing. How long does it take for you to get ready for an event like this? Because obviously you want to show up, you know? Well, I feel like it's two hours because people are helping me look like this. If it's just me, myself, it's usually an hour. Who is the Alice and Olivia girl? I mean, she's... Stacey. Yeah, me. me. <laughs> and sometimes Ken when he wears our bell bottoms. Um, I mean, we dress Michelle Obama, we dress her daughters. So, you know, I like to think that it's every woman who likes to dress up, who likes to feel like a woman, and who likes to have fun with what she's wearing every day. Originally, Stacy was designing websites, riding around New York on rollerblades, wearing pants that she made. And a few people said, hey, you should start making pants. 
and now she has this huge global empire. So I'm honestly mainly just here because I'm so proud of my friend. I like a woman to be a woman. I like to make a woman feel feminine and be feminine and really embrace her femininity. And I want to inspire women on you know how to look and feel their best every day. There has to be a dream, and, and you bring a dream into a woman's wardrobe, and, and that's the most important. Do you guys feel like you're living in a dream today? It kind of does. Wait till the petals start falling from the ceiling. I like it. <laughs> My life is always a dream, actually, and it's, it's a bigger supernova dream when I'm with Stacey.